Ash's educational adventures continue in the Alola region as he catches his very first Alolan Pokemon, and Team Rocket makes some brand new friends. If you don't think Rowlet is one of the most adorable Pokemon after watching this week's episode, you have no soul. Before the release of Pokemon Sun and Moon, I was always Team Rowlet, but this episode right here just completely solidified why I love this Pokemon so much. Not only is he just an adorable owl Pokemon, but he's incredibly expressive, and you get to see a lot of that in this episode right here, which, again, this is another one of those episodes that benefits from the brand new art style of Pokemon Sun or Moon. Take it or leave it, love it or hate it, it's here to stay, so we might as well get used to it. I will say, though, the only thing that I don't like about this series so far is they just assume that Ash is a novice trainer. Most of this episode right here is about him learning how to catch a Pokemon, which is something he doesn't need schooling on. He's been doing this for 20 freaking years. It's very evident that the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime is being catered to new fans of the Pokemon franchise in order to get them on board. I don't think that necessarily makes this a bad series, but in some ways it is a step back. That being said, this week's episode was still a lot of fun and we got to see a lot of brand new, super colorful Pokemon. So, the main story in this week's episode is that Ash is going to have to learn how to catch a Pokemon and it opens up when he's having this battle against a Grubbin, which is this little, like, grub caterpillar little Pokemon that has these big pinchers on the end of its face. And it has a surprisingly intense battle with Pikachu where it not only escapes from being caught, but just escapes, period. So, clearly, Ash needs to learn a little bit more about the Alolan Pokemon, and he's going to get plenty of time for that at the end of this episode right here. Meanwhile, you have Team Rocket, who's still hanging out with Mimikyu and Beware. Beware apparently is holding them hostage. I'm not really sure what its ultimate plan is. It actually sort of entices Team Rocket with the prospect of delicious honey, which is a funny scene, but it really just doesn't make any sense. What is Beware's motive? Is he there to stop Team Rocket? Is he going to be an official member of the team? Are they really going to keep that creepy pedo bear around? What is really awesome, though, is that Jessie manages to catch Mimikyu. She actually tries throwing a number of Pokeballs at it, but she ends up taking one of James' luxury balls, which is a part of his special collection. But I agree with Jessie. You don't collect Pokeballs, you use them to catch Pokemon. So they officially have a Mimikyu on their team, which is something that I sort of suspected was going to happen at the end of last week's episode. But the main reason to check out this week's episode is about the introduction of Rowlet, the cute little grass starter from Pokemon Sun and Moon, who is going to be Ash's very first Pokemon in the series. And just like a lot of the other previous seasons when he meets a starter Pokemon, a lot of the times it ends up just joining him. In fact, this episode is strikingly similar similar to one from the very first season where Ash got his Bulbasaur. The difference is, this story is all about this Rowlet, which lives with a group of Pikapek, Trumbeak, and Toucanon, which are the brand new bird Pokemon from this game. Toucanon was awesome in this episode, I just need to bring that up. What's really cool is, I had just run into Toucanon just hours before I watched this episode, so I'd only known about the Pokemon's existence for a very small amount of time, and then I immediately watched this one, I was really excited to see him in there because Toucanon is awesome. Yes, he's basically just a big toucan, but like his name implies, he has this power where his beak will repeatedly heat up and then it'll just cause this massive explosion just like a cannon. His beak is a freaking cannon. That's just awesome. Unlike the Pikapek, Trumbeak, and Toucanon, Rowlet is a little slower than the other Pokemon when it comes to providing food for their group, but he still tries as hard as he can. He even tries to attack Mallow's Bounce Wheat, which gives off this scent which actually smells like fruit, so he thinks it's a fruit and he's just trying to take it back to his family, but he ends up getting caught on these power lines and starts to fall when Ash decides to capture him. But then he runs back to his crew, and of course, Ash decides to give chase with Mallow in tow. And this leads to a pretty traditional confrontation where they find Rowlet and his family. They're confronted by Team Rocket who's trying to steal all of these Pokemon as well as Pikachu as well with the help of Mimikyu. So we finally got to see Mimikyu in action this week going up against Pikachu and it's pretty much just like the last time where Mimikyu just sort of trolls Pikachu a little bit but eventually he does get the better of him and hits him with a big old Thunderbolt and in a shocking twist it looks like Team Rocket is going to be blasting off 
off again. The episode ends with Ash deciding that Rowlet should stay with his family, but of course the Toucanon lets the Rowlet know, no, you should go ahead and go with the trainer, and he just decides to go along with Ash. No battle, no nothing. He gets right into the Pokeball. What's really awesome, though, about Rowlet and what solidifies his just absolute adorableness is the fact that he loves hanging out in Ash's backpack, which leads to some of the most adorkable shit that I have seen from the series, but honestly made this a pretty pleasant episode of Pokemon. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon? I really wish we could get past this whole Pokemon School thing at this point. It's not completely ruining the series or anything, but it's just... I have to suspend my disbelief that Ash is just a complete idiot when it comes to the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. I mean, look at all of the stuff that he has been through, and he's going through the absolute most basic steps of what it means to be a Pokemon trainer in this world. It just, like I said, the only excuse for why it is here is to try and bring in new viewers. I really do understand why they're doing that. They need to grab onto a brand new demographic in a brand new season where everything looks nice, new, and fresh is really the best way to make that happen. But if you're able to look past that, this is still a very good looking episode. This is the early stages of Pokemon Sun and Moon. We still have a lot of establishing to do. Ash just got his very first Pokemon, and I'm glad that it's Rowlet. Rowlet is definitely my favorite starter from this generation. I absolutely love his final evolution Decidueye, and I hope that he is going to be a part of Ash's team in the future. And I wonder if they're going to continue this whole tradition with Ash actually empowering his starter. Like, you guys remember from X, Y, and Z that we got the Ash Greninja. Try to imagine, if you will, an Ash Decidueye. What special abilities it would have, what brand new look that it would get. I just think it would be an interesting prospect. Maybe that's all just going to belong to Ash Greninja. Maybe it's just going to be his special thing. But still, the prospect of actually seeing Decidueye being on Ash's team gets me really excited. I wonder if in like the previous seasons he's going to end up getting all the starters. He might get a Litten. I don't think he's going to get a Poplio though because that's what Lana has been using. But uh, still, I think Litten is going to play an important part in the series as he's been appearing in every single episode thus far. It's just a mystery of who Litten is going to go to. I mean, really it could go either way at this point. I mean, Incineroar would be awesome as well. There's just... So much greatness that could come from this anime. We just have to see what it can offer. And it's always really fun to see new Pokemon in the anime series. So I'm going to give this episode right here a 4 out of 5. I might be giving it a little too high of a score just for the fact that I am annoyed by the fact that Ash is going through all of this like tutorial bullcrap. But I'm willing to look past it because this is still the early stages of this anime series. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do when Ash officially goes on his adventures and leaves the school. So there it is. That's my thoughts on this week's episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you did watch the episode, make sure to tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. Did you have a favorite Pokemon from this episode? Do you like Toucanon and his evolutionary line? What do you think of Mimikyu officially joining Team Rocket? Do you think that Beware is actually going to join the group as well? And what do you want to see from the rest of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime? Thank you guys again for watching this video. Make sure to like it, share it with all your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment or two. I will see you next time, and as always, stay dandy, baby!